Do do do. I'm a new player to Tokyo Hokako Summoners, and I want to see what kind of peeps I can summon. Wait. Are you overwhelmed by the amount of choices you have and are looking for a helpful guide on which gacha banner to pull from? Then this video is not for you, because I'm just going to be reviewing every banner in 10 seconds each based on my arbitrary opinion. Hello, hello. <laughs> like I said before, these gachas have the highest banner 4 and 5 rates in this game's history, and I'll always recommend this just because of that. Warning, do not try for Tangaroa right here. I recommend trying for the GoGo2 version instead. <laughs> You already saw me get this card right here, so if you want your own and you have spare AR tickets, go for it. Hello, hello. <laughs> I knew full well this event was going to give me depression, and yet... This banner is nice enough, but everyone already pulled when it was first out, and those that didn't weren't planning to do so anyway. If you're still on the fence, at least try for Dagon 3. Hello. <laughs> this is a good banner. Legends only, especially Moto's single dad and Oniwaka. I really feel bad for him. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Warning, do not try for Takamaru here. I recommend going for the Christmas 2019 version instead. Hello, this was a really great event, and it has something for everyone. We got the husbando, the waifu, the anthro, the father, the son, and the holy spirit. Hello, hello. I swear, this is what y'all look like when a new anthro gets revealed. Deadass. I mean, this is an okay banner, but the highlight of this gotcha is definitely King Jamba and Queen Durga. Yes, your majesty. Hello, hello. This, this right here, was Life Wonder's first trap of the year with the swimsuits and the bitch-ass modeling poses, and because of that, I say do not fall for this trap. Or maybe do so, feel free, everyone is fantastical. Even the crafter, all crafters need love and care. Hello, no one here stands out to me in particular, but they do make up a pretty nice band together. Especially Seth. We stand a skinny legend and a combo king. Hello, Again, to me, no one stands out in particular, but they all kind of snapped with the Halloween Chinese Jiangshu fusion aesthetic. I can vibe with that. Hello, hello. This might be a strange banner at first sight, but I don't even care that these ARs are unrelated to Christmas. Donnie now our gay apparel, the gay lesbian solidarity gives me life. Oh wait, ARs, those are real. Oh my god, he has a beard! Hello, hello! So you know how I said this was Life Wonder's first trap of the year? This is the second trap, because I swear to Senpai, the worst part about this is. Okay, but wouldn't it be really funny? If Takemaru starts to be shown upside down all the time, like in fan art and stuff, kind of like what Fire Emblem did with Claude. <laughs>